this could be a three hour uh, conversation. So I'll go ahead and just start. So get comfy now. Um, you know, it's interesting. So there, all of those disease states that you mentioned have multiple skin manifestations. So obviously psoriatic arthritis, I think is the easiest one um, because it's psoriasis. Uh, you know, but in addition, of course, patients can also have uveitis where they have eye inflammation, they can have inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis. So there's definitely different domains within psoriatic arthritis. You know, with rheumatoid arthritis, patients from a, from a skin perspective can have, you know, rheumatoid nodules that often will present to dermatology. You can have a cutaneous vasculitis that's associated with rheumatoid arthritis. And so those would be kind of some of the more common skin manifestations that you might see in a rheumatoid arthritis patient. With systemic lupus, I mean, there are lots and lots of different skin manifestations. And, uh, you know, obviously most commonly, right? Like we talk about this thing called the butterfly, butterfly rash, which is kind of a skin rash on the face, but, you know, there's so many other skin manifestations that happen with lupus. And, you know, from that perspective, I think a lot of times undiagnosed lupus is going to first to actually be seen in dermatology versus it being rheumatology. Good question. I think it's going to be some of the other symptoms the patient is having, right? So if it is purely a skin or dermatologic condition, you wouldn't necessarily expect the patient to also be complaining of joint pain or joint swelling or fatigue or fevers or lymph node swelling or, or shortness of breath. I mean, so you really, you know, as a dermatology clinician, you know, if you're seeing something that looks like, hmm, this doesn't just look like one of my most common, you know, skin diseases or disorders, asking those questions, how are you feeling otherwise? Are you feeling okay? Are you having any other symptoms? Are you feeling run down? Are you having joint pain? I mean, it's kind of asking some of those other kind of constitutional symptoms. Um, and from there, it can be a little bit more like your spidey sense goes up a little bit when a patient says those things to you, because then you're kind of like, mm, I think this might be something more systemic versus just cutaneous. I think scleroderma is one, you know, that is a more rare, you know, autoimmune process, not, not in my world because I foresee it, but, um, you know, where the patient presents with significant Raynaud's, perhaps ulcerations to their fingers, um, to their toes, perhaps, you know, and so kind of understanding and seeing if, hey, if I see, an, if I have a patient with Raynaud's that's getting an ulceration to a fingertip, there's likely something else going on. There's something more systemic happening in that patient uh, that is causing that ulceration to happen. And I really need to start thinking about what that potentially could be. Is it scleroderma? Is it an underlying vasculitis? Um, and so really, you know, kind of seeing some of those things, I think can, can be a better um, indicator that, yeah, something else more systemic is happening here. And I really need to get that patient to rheumatology.